welcome back to another exciting episode of Demolished Ones, Polyhedral Dynamics. Listen, I've had a week. You can't, you can't be mean to me. I've had a week. Only one week? It's, it's been several weeks. This it's week. been. It's been a very one long week, week. Since I, we played this game. Oh gosh. <laughs> that fits. It fits the the, the yeah, meter. Good night. One week since we played the game. And uh, we finished Act One last week. It was great. You guys uh, found uh, you found out what one of those cards at least meant that you had found. Uh, you found uh, a monster, also, uh, and beat it up. Is that all we did, Dom? <laughs> yes. Uh, and then you nothing else important really in that. We fight. became um, closer <laughs> as friends. We <laughs> did become yeah. closer. We all decided on names finally. Yay. <laughs> And you met your friend, your new friend, uh, Carolyn Flynn. Mm -hmm. I don't trust her. Uh, I mean, here's my thing. I I don't know if I, I. It's less that I. It's less about whether or not she is trustworthy, but I don't know if she's operating with uh, complete information. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, she... It, it's the thing with the vacations. It's the vacations get to me. Because uh, we have a whole city of... Like I, like like we were saying, it's a city where nobody goes in or out, but they've got shipping warehouses. I mean, uh, the, the con I thought the conclusion we came to is that we're, we're pretty sure we can't go in or out, but we have no confirmation on whether other people can't. That's yeah. Sorry, that's a, that is a very good distinction because I'm willing to bet some of these free thought guys can do that. So we had we had gotten to oh yeah to my Twitter. Awesome. So you are also given two. Basically, she gave you a uh, a request of helping to clear your names via investigating who actually killed Mr. Jack Smith. Mm -hmm. um, and your your op your or her best guesses were uh, Mr. Cole and uh, Bernard Charles. Yeah, and we have pictures of the enlightened one of this society meeting with. The uh, beneficent one. Beneficent one. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. They're stuffed inside Ashy's pocket somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, no, the the guy who looks like um the, the Council of Ed Elders, that guy with the big robe and everything. Yeah. So who well you, you went back to um the Cassius boarding house to spend the night. Everything went fine. You didn't get attacked or anything. Um, what do you want to do? Who do you want to to try investigating first? So we've got the Bernard Charles. We've got uh, the Society of Free Thought. We have the uh, shipping house that the body was found in. Um, yeah, we have Warehouse 27. Yeah, that's where warehouse we woke 27. up. What other places or what other things do we have as uh, possibilities? Um, Mr. Call, the man that I talked to in the Society of Free Thought, he seems to be a pretty important person. We should probably go back to at some point. Yes. They are maybe expecting us, so that wouldn't be uncalled for. True. Um, I'd like to talk to somebody about this weird hand thing, so maybe if we could find the Jacks, like the, the <laughs> Society of Jacks. Yeah, you have that thing's hand in your pocket. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, um, did, did our buddy Jack say anything about where to meet him, uh, where to meet him or his friends before he got, uh... No. Okay. No, he really didn't. That's what I was afraid you were going to say. Um, 
in that case you're just gonna mm. get <laughs> blamed for killing him too i mean at this point like look someone bit his throat out we only know one person who does that <laughs> yes somebody does have a track record of doing that okay. it happened once yeah, that's okay. one more times than it's happened with me. Yeah, or me. <laughs> or any character I've seen in any movie. And uh, I'm sure that's not true. I don't think I've seen any human rip someone's throat out with their teeth in any movie. You said um, character. You, you know did what? not say human character. Right. I've seen Silence of the Lambs. I think he does that at one point in that. Or Hannibal Lecter does. Anyways, what's your plan? Well, don't modify it to be human, remember? I feel like we were also told to go somewhere at the end of the last one, but it I don't remember mainly, where. It was mainly just to check out the two people. Just to check out the two people. Yeah. Um. Then if I had to, if I had to pick somebody to look into, it'd be Bernard Charles. Mm -hmm. He's the odd one out. He doesn't fit. Like, basically, he. There's no reason for them to say. Uh, he's not a member of the group, but somehow, for some reason, they do, which tells us something. I think we should also look into the shipping company, find yes. out like, what it ships, where it ships it from or to. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And if the two people were interested and are in any way connected to it. Mm -hmm. I'm still a little hesitant about checking out that warehouse too soon. Because, you know, we are kind of suspects, number one. One of us is carrying the deceased's ID. Yeah. And that is the scene of the crime. It has been, a, like, a day. And one of us and is also carrying the murder weapon. Yeah. It's been clean. Well, likely the murder weapon. We don't know the kind of forensics they have. It might be the kind of thing where they can match the, the wound to the knife. Yeah, they're like, oh, yeah, we do have DNA testing, but not, but not fingerprinting. Right. <laughs> They have a, uh, like, uh, was it, uh, spe oh, they have a spectrometer, but no uh, fingerprinting supplies. Possible. So, what do you guys want to do first? I think, w could we go find Charles, but swing by the shipping uh, warehouse just to see what the police presence out there is? Sounds good. Yeah, I mean, we could just go to the city controller's office and yeah, you you could uh, see if he's in. Swing by and more go very far out of your way. That bad, huh? It, it's just like it, it is in the like near the docks, sort of like on the the very north uh, west side of town. I was gonna say, yeah, I I would I should have figured that. Um political sector wasn't in the same place as uh, massive freight shipments. I've played SimCity once. Hey, do we still have that newspaper? Yes, okay. I have it in my, my inventory. Is there a section in the newspaper about, like, stocks and stuff and, like, I don't know what it is that we ship from this town since it's a local newspaper? Um, they have, like, like stock prices and things like that in it, but not really like, not not a description of their exports or anything like that. Okay. Because I guess living in the town, you already know that. Does it have any sort of like um, spotlights on local businesses so we can get an idea of what this place is like as a uh, local establishment and everything? Not really. It's It's mostly like crime or like it's it's mostly like this is like a a very like daily newspaper for a small town so it's it's not particularly large and it's very much like here are the things that have happened today slash the day before okay hmm that's i was gonna say that's just honestly the absence of that is also very interesting so yeah we're definitely going to need to look at uh the freight building okay so so where have we seen the police? We know that the police have been to the murder scene already. They've been to we, Jack's house. They've been to Jack's house while we were there. 
Before we even woke up, they went to the Cassius boarding house. And then they went to the Society of Free Thought. But weren't they also going to the Cassius whenever we were there at the time? I don't remember them coming to us there. They weren't. We were worried somebody was going to come in and check on us while we were there. Hmm. That first okay. night. Does anyone we'll else say... find it weird that they checked the Cassius boarding house before like, the body was even found? He was missing, apparently, for a couple days. Yeah, it said it is it is very weird, but like they'd the the excuse they gave on the radio was he had been missing, and so they went to inquire about him at the Cassius boarding house, and he had left, and that's why his uh, I just body find it was weird found. that once yeah. they found the body, they didn't check out his room again. Yeah. I honestly find it stranger it that they they didn't check out the house sooner. That is also true. The other thing I find odd is that it it seems quite often that we end up being in the police's line of chase. Yeah. I'm not trying well, to put a tinfoil hat here, but we seem to be lining up perfectly with where they want to look next. That's why I bring this up, because I'm like, well, we know we they've been to all of these places, so do we really think they're going to be there again? Like, might it be safer to retrace some of our steps instead of going somewhere new? It might. That's which a... would be back to the shipping house. The shipping warehouse. Yeah. I'm ready to go back to the... Uh, I can do the shipping warehouse whenever y'all are ready. Like. Yeah, I kind um... of agree that we should go to warehouse 27. Yeah. I mean, we should. I think we should at least look at it. If it's crawling with police, still maybe not. But oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, obviously. <laughs> I like that you said obviously and not no. I want to go punch them in the face. It depends how many there are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it's two, he'll punch one in the face. If right. it's more than two, he'll probably not do that. If it's just one, he'll probably bite his throat out. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, what if they're just civil servants? I don't care. Can I'm gonna punch them in the face. Money, like we should probably go eat or something first. Um, I assume we, we can just get yeah. sandwiches on the way there. I was gonna say we did get petty cash from from our our friend. That's okay. True. So. That's good. We we can get food and do that. Sandwiches stuff. and alcohol. I didn't know if we needed to like get jobs somehow and try and work those jobs into our investigation, which was going to be difficult. Um. Okay. Look, there's only three acts to this, so like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, maybe Act Four is <laughs> creating your resume. <laughs> Act Act Four. It's it's like the post game in a Dragon Quest game. You yeah, actually yeah. have to go and face every boss. Uh, one of in those our bosses case, is capitalism. Yes. So <laughs> yeah, so one of those. Where are you going first? Uh, we're gonna go to Warehouse Twenty Seven. Okay. And we're gonna get we're gonna get food and alcohol on the way there. Okay. Um, you did have enough. Um to have some food as well. Um, is that, none of you have it written down anywhere. I think you took it off for the boarding house, but specifically they were supposed to be extra to like purchase some food. So okay. oh. you'll have to like write it down because you consume it yeah. immediately. Unless you, for some reason, don't want to. Yeah. No, we're good. Um, yeah, you, you find like a nice little like shop on the way. Uh, just to, like get, get some food. Um, let's see, anything from the boarding house. Is there any clues in the sandwiches? No, in fact. <laughs> does um, this city provide breakfast burritos? It does not. Ah, the meat's made out of the clue. monsters. It's another clue. So it is a, a considerable d distance from where you are now. Um, are you guys walking there? No, we still have the car we stole before. Okay, good. <gasps> Wait, do we? We do. They haven't found it yet? Um, has it been said that they found the car yet? I have not said that out loud, no. So, we have the car. Yes, 
let's take the car. Um, you want to write that down under your sheet, actually, just so that we we have that somewhere that you do have a car on you. Yeah, I'll write that down. Uh, okay, so as you get close to uh, the warehouse, um, you do not see any police presence uh, immediately, immediately like obvious. Cool. Uh, then let's go in. Is the window that we bashed out still broken? Yep, you can still see some glass shards on the ground. Does uh, it like there's activity at the warehouse? Like, is anybody there? Is, is no, but used? this is this warehouse is actually pretty far from. Uh, like, this is a a fairly secluded warehouse compared to the other ones. Oh, okay. Okay, let's check out the desk in there. I mean, let's go through the front door. I don't want to climb through the uh, the glass again. It's not my ideal. I was going to say, of of decisions, I think avoiding going through that window would be probably less incriminating. Yeah. <laughs> I hope, at least. I desperately hope. So, can, can we just go through the front door? Is it open? Uh, yeah. Okay. It's an unlocked warehouse that nobody's at. Right, this is suspicious. I'm suspicious. Uh, does anyone else feel like this could be a trap? Well, yes. No, Not you're right. Me. It would be locked on the outside. Sorry, I'm going yeah, off but... of the the intro scene. Oh, so it would have should... been locked, but you'd be inside. So, should I burglarize it? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, steal this building. I mean, that's Jesus. What a roll. Two? That's a two. You're able to get inside fairly easily. Um, walking in is a fairly large, pretty empty warehouse. Um, really not anything going on in it. It looks like if it's, like, it might be like a backup warehouse, essentially, if we're any, like, overflow stock. Um, is the body still in here? Well, you're in the warehouse, not the basement. Oh, the, the, it's in the basement. Yes. I see. We're we're what it sounds like is is we're on a floor that's primarily for moving stuff. Yeah. Uh, is there shelves or any sort of? Uh, Are there any crates units? hanging around? Um, no storage units. There's like some shelves specifically just to like in case they need to lift stuff off the floor to make more room. Is there anything on these shelves? Not that you can see. Hmm. So it's so a there's big nothing empty much warehouse. of interest. Yeah. That's I... interesting. That is very inter okay. Do they have a loading area? Yeah. Um can I take a look at the loading area and investigate to see if the loading area um has been used or anything like that? Yeah. Um I'd say it's locked, but you're on the inside, so you should be able to open it fine. Um yeah. Opening it up, it doesn't look like it's been used recently, but it certainly yeah. has been used in the past. It's just not like they haven't like it. It seems like I said, it's basically like when their other warehouse on the dock fills up, they would move stuff here to make more room, um, and they just haven't necessarily needed to do that in a while. Okay, so yeah, I just I just rolled a four on my investigation. So this is an overflow building that is normally for storing excess freight, and if they're out of it, then that means, or if there's no excess, there's nothing here. Which I guess, yeah, for a city that we can't leave, I'm wonder. I'm betting there's probably not much freight that comes in and out of the city. Um. Is there any sort of large moving equipment, like forklifts, jacks, um, anything like that, hand carts? Yeah, they'd be like uh, jacks, like very primitive hand cart type stuff. Yeah, yeah, the pallet jack. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm just, uh, and are there any tools that I can add to my little toolbox? Is there something that you're looking for? Because you can pay me a uh, pay point to declare that there is. Yep. Yeah. Yes, I am. Okay, so are you familiar with chain pliers? Um, no, unless you mean like chain cutters. No, ch there are chain cutters, which 
actually, I was going to say that's a good thing to have, but I don't, but they're kind of harder. They'd be harder to carry around quietly. Chain pliers are a set of pliers that are designed to bend stuff outward and inward, depending on ah. whether or not you're opening or closing chain. And so functionally, the idea of chain pliers is you can add links to chains or remove links and not have it be noticeable. They are um, a specialized type of thing for dealing with like freight and chain and that sort of thing. I'd say probably not. Ah, do I get to keep the fate point yes, or did you take yes, it? No, okay. you, you still keep it. Yeah, I was about to I was about to grab something that's like actually probably really kind of broken when it comes to sneaking into buildings. <laughs> um, so I like it's been a fate yeah. point to find evidence. Can I do that? Actually, yes. No, can I no. spend a fate point? Okay. No, you cannot. <laughs> can, I, can I spend a fate point to find the culprit? A real murderer. Yeah, in this room. Without a gun. In this in this um, room. The free, do you guys the real murderer. Find, or like go for the basement? Yeah, while Tom's doing all this, yeah. I'm gonna head down to the basement. Okay. Fairly easy to find. Um you kind of know what side of the building you came out of, so you can easily find where it is. Um it, it is uh held closed with a like a bar across the door, but you can just like lift that up and push it to the side. Is the desk still in here? Uh, yes. Can I rifle through the desk's drawers? You may. Uh, roll me investigation. I wasn't trying to investigate sorry, anything. Roll me, roll me burglar, burglary, because it is a locked drawer. Uh, that's a five. Yes, you open it with ease. And what what do I find in the drawer? The drawers. Let's see. I want open. Uh, oh, there we go. You find a newspaper clipping. Okay. There it is. Oh, did you give it to me? It's very big and on the table. Oh, then I don't need to. Okay, let's see what we got. The ch. A uh, prominent man goes missing. Jack Smith, prominent gentleman, author, and philanthropist, went missing two days ago, August the 15th. He disappeared unexpectedly from his two-story house on Beacom Street. Said a neighbor, he simply vanished. One day he was at home, the next morning he was not. I thought nothing, nothing of it, but he hasn't returned since. Upon searching his house, the police found no immediate evidence of foul play, but admitted that things did seem strange. A citywide search is on for Mr. Smith. And the police they th think they know where Smith might be. They suspect he is being held against his will and expect to return him to safety soon. How'd that work out for them? This feel feels safe. weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This doesn't feel like it matches up with what we know. Is there anything else on the desk? Yes, which I'm bringing in also. It's also, it's it's under something called the CHE. And uh, let me check, but as far as I know, uh, yeah, the newspaper I have is the Inquirer, so that's a different paper. It says that they searched his house. Yeah, the place. Okay, so. But his house didn't look searched when we got there. They hadn't searched his place until, like, until after we had to leave because there was dust over everything in there. All right, they couldn't have searched the house, right? 
No, they could. Well, it, they would have left. They would have gotten rid of some of the dust, especially, especially when he had like a flyer for a group meeting, hanging out right on his table. Uh, they would have done something where they were just like they would. Somebody would have picked that up and touched it, and it wouldn't have had dust on it. So, what this tell like either the police lied about picking him up, or or, or searching his house. And trying to find him. And they okay. just told... Okay. What were you going to say? Newspaper clipping. Society helps the poor orphans. This past Friday marked the sixth annual benefit for the betterment of poor orphans, an event paid for and hosted by the Society of Free Thought. The Society, an upstanding organization that always works to the betterment of the city at large, said that the benefit was a rousing success, even better than last year's. Luminaries from every echelon of society attended the gala, and a good time was had by all. The benefit raised record funds for the children of the orphanage wing of Cyrus Cottage Voluntary Hospital. So the society has a hospital. Not just that. Normally orphans oh. aren't held at the hospital, correct? No. I mean, maybe if there's not an orphanage, I don't know. I mean, theoretically, but like having like having a bunch of kids at a hospital like that. Yeah, that's um, weird. That is well, it's it's like a huge waste of hospital resources. It's not something anyone would want to keep going. Like they oh, want to find a new place. It says an orphanage wing of the hospital. Okay. Okay. It just they didn't. Then. They probably didn't have a. <laughs> separate orphanage they just put it in there and i guess as far as like the cost goes like the society of free thought is raising the money yeah you have a whole bunch of unattached people all living in a place uh one but got but... something for you right there oh then this could potentially be an investigation if we've run out of leads this is an option Do I show this to people, or...? Uh, it is not something that you would show them, but you can tell them if you would like. It is a, a, a memory that you have suddenly regained. So there is the aspect that it gives you. You'll want to write that under the truth. And uh, pick one of the skills and put it where you want. Okay. Well, I'll take one of the skills that nobody else has yet, and that I was actually thinking about picking up anyway. So I'm going to take Endurance. No, Sig, Endurance is something that's definitely worth taking for, for the amount of stuff you've smashed into. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll, I'll share this with everybody in the room. Um, like, we've been talking about the orphanage, and this memory it, it 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 just came flooding back to me it's it feels as recent as the the needle mm -hmm. um no. i'm remembering no it does not it doesn't it feels very very long ago it feel okay uh sorry i thought all of these uh memories that you no. gave us were supposed nope. to be super recent no this is feels like from your childhood Okay, so I, I remember, I remember sheltering a, a child underneath me, um, while while people beat on my back as if they were trying to attack the child. That's interesting. I really hope. That we don't suddenly start remembering, like trying to beat up a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if I was trying to beat up a kid, then that kid probably had it coming. So, I mean, do we do we think we none of us remember before we woke up in the warehouse? Do we think we're from here? Well, you have some memories. You have those those four that you guys wrote in. Um, 
those are all from before you uh, were here. And, and I know people you have from here because people well. greet us like we're new. No one recognizes us. No. No one was yeah. like, hey, your real name. It's been a while. But we also only deal with shady societies and the police, so. If we were dealing with the police and we were from here, the police might have, like, been able to recognize us or something like that. Yeah. But the police don't. We are but it might be in their interest to pretend that they don't. Okay, that is there. I'm just going to say, I, I, that is a possibility. The other thing we have is just the police officer who couldn't remember anything. Because uh, right, the, guy the who let clearly us out. brainwashed officer. Yeah, the clearly brainwashed officer, and we've got that. And there, there is another piece of this warehouse that we haven't discussed yet. But someone knew to call us. Uh, and tell us to get out. And have we found who that was? Doesn't seem like it. It could have been no. the Jacks. It might be. Was that... it a... Do you remember? I was the it one was who talked to her on the phone. Um, can I roll an investigation to see if I recognize her voice from somebody no. we've met since? Because uh, that would have been um, not investigation, but alertness. And I, I did actually roll that at a point. Oh, okay. It was just a difficult voice to remember. They didn't say a whole lot, and uh, yeah. we're in a strange situation. Um, hmm. There is an as-yet-unknown X factor, and it's them. I'm unsure what to do now. Well, is that everything what I in the desk? Yeah. Yep. Right. There's that's... nothing for me to stuff in my pockets. I mean, there's also a body in the room still. The body's still here. They did leave. They left the body. When have I said the police were here? It, we were at the start the of the the game when the police were coming. True, but did they come in here? Why wouldn't they? If they saw someone leaving the area. But you'd think they would come back and, like... Yeah, right. but they didn't necessarily know exactly what warehouse to go in or anything. So... So, it looks like so the body's just in. here. Yeah. So they haven't found the body yet? Likely not. Can we peek into Bernie's Jack Smith? Uh, the person been... who is a, let's see, prominent gentleman, author, and philanthropist? Yeah, no, you could probably get around town and no one would notice that it's him. Um, the missing man who's been in newspapers and uh, radio. <laughs> Specifically, though. Can we, yeah. like, I know we saw the dagger knife, like, you know, stab wound. Um, but does it seem like there's any other marks of a scaffold on him? Uh, wrong investigation. Can I also roll as a as someone who's got the skill? Yes. I'm gonna say, can I, I got a one. Too? Uh, you do not see any anything else on it, no. I got a zero for my investigation, so I don't see anything. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to be a truth seeker. I also Actually, I am a truth seeker. I'll, I'll roll also. also. I'll spend yep. a fake point to re-roll that. Perfect. Never mind. I got another zero. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get, Wombat? Oh, not worth mentioning. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> Wombat can't even find the uh, stab wound anymore. <sighs> Wombat is looking at someone else and thinking, huh, this body is standing up. Rigor Mortis definitely has set in. <laughs> Oh, no, that's just me. I wonder if I should bite them. Don't don't get a pry on. <laughs> so, 
so you don't notice anything that you didn't see the first time with him. Neck fully intact? Yeah. I mean, stabbed, but yeah. I think this might be the best we get out of here, Jen. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Is there anything else in this room besides the desk and the body? Three empty oil drums, a bit of glass on the floor next to a window, some dried blood near that glass. It matches your blood. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> well, if the police haven't been here yet... Do we have a number? Do we try and clean up a little? Like, is there a broom around? Should we sweep up the glass? Uh, does... We're out by the ocean, right? I mean, sort of. Um, Ellis. Hmm? Do you... Do you think we should hide the body? I think that would almost be more suspicious. I will mention... You did not see police presence nearby, but these are still the docks. It is still somewhat busy, and you are. It's in... morning in a docks in a freight area. Yeah, but so we're out of the, the way, right? Yeah, this one's fairly secluded, but there are still people walking like to and from. Okay, so here's my idea. Um, there's all these empty oil drums, right? So we could stuff the body inside an oil drum and roll it out to the water. And then if we get, you know, harassed for littering and they see a dead body floating out of the barrel, we're kind of SOL. Well, well but that's why it's in the oil drum. That, that way the body doesn't float. I'm going to call you BP from now on. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just throw this out there. Um, do you know if the, hypothetically speaking, a uh, body would... In an oil drum, might if the oil drum's empty, might make the oil drum float. I, think I don't think so. Really it's very heavy metal. Yeah. Roll me a science check. <laughs> I'm I I ain't a scientist, but I'll roll. That's a three. Uh. It 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 might not. But it also depends on like, how bloated the body ends up being. Yeah. He has been left uh, with an open window for about a day, so he's probably full of gas. Regardless, this is not is, something I want to get holes? my hands in it. Hmm? Regardless, this is not quite something I want to get my hands dirty with. No, me yeah, neither. same. But for the science question, do we poke holes in the oil drum so it fills with water and sinks, or in the body so that the gas releases and everything's fine? I've seen what happens when you try to poke a hole in a body like that. Uh, I am going to stand outside when you do that. I'm it also means that if they do find the body, there would be just multiple stab wounds. Some yeah. fresher than others. Yeah. Someone stabbed this guy post-mortem. They must have really hated him. That's what we call overkill. Did you guys just loiter at the murder scene for a bit longer? Uh, can I take the phone? No. Oh. I mean, you <laughs> could, but it's a fucking, like, corded, like, murder <laughs> phone. Where are you gonna fucking plug it in to use it? There's That's no phone lines wondering. just in your pocket. Back at the hotel! Back at the boarding house, or why, the apartment, I mean. Why do you think they have a rotary phone in every apartment? Oh, okay, we have I'm one. Sorry, why do you think they have a rotary phone line, but not phone? Mm -hmm. yeah, never mind, We're moving on, we'll leave now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're not even supposed to be here. It's not part of it. it doesn't matter. <laughs> you come back because you missed, like... I like things earlier that like don't even matter anymore. It would just be cool if you rolled them. 
and notice those things, but now they don't fucking can't even roll that. <laughs> Look, we got these. We got this information from the desk. That's good. Y yeah, I think we were supposed to have gotten that the first time around. I yep, so. sure were. <laughs> I think we were supposed to have understood something about you know the courts with our investigation rules. Given how we all the suck. DM lose faith in humanity. I've lost faith in all of you guys. Like, it's been 45 minutes and you haven't done the first scene in Act 1 because you're re refusing to check out any of the people you were told to do. Because you wanted to look at a fucking empty warehouse. Let's go Let's go to the city comp controller. I mean, you can office. do whatever you want, but... I... <laughs> yeah, the ex machina is telling me Go check out the city c controller or something. I'm so fucking close to just invoking one of your aspects to make you go look at something else. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> no. I think we should go visit the city controller. Or is it a comptroller? It's a controller. I know, but does my character know it's a controller? Yeah, my character, which is me, didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go visit. All right, so you leave the warehouse as is, which not a bad idea considering it is a crime scene. I don't like um, that there's blood that belongs to us there, but whatever. It's fine. It was there when you left the first time. Yeah, but apparently the police still haven't been here. Uh, apparently the police don't give a shit, so... <laughs> they They probably forgot. I mean, it's it's their track record at this point. Yeah, yeah sure. All right, so where are you going to look for Mr. Charles? The city controller's office. So, city hall? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, so, on the way, um, you... Okay, so basically, would you like to... Are you still just, like, avoiding any and all people on the street, or, like... Do you want to try to ask any of them for information about Bernard before you go meet him? I mean, it'd be kind of weird to, like, pull over and ask random people on the street about the city controller. On that thought, though, if we're going to, like, the main part of the city, should we really, four newcomers, be riding around in a stolen car in the middle of downtown while there's a missing person investigation going on, it might be a little less suspicious if we just drove a little bit closer to town and then walked. I see nothing wrong with driving in a stolen car right up to City Hall. Maybe the stolen part. Maybe that's what's wrong. I, I don't see nothing wrong with it. The other two companions, I'm like, seriously, am I the only one who, like... Okay, so... I have an idea. How about I try to do what I did with the, our friend at the Free Thought Society and try to act like I need to um, see Mr. Charles and I'm going to ask how Mr. Charles is today and uh, see if that tells me anything, if someone says uh, about his mood or about his anything about that sort of thing. Only if one one of us goes with you. Oh yeah, yeah. Somebody has a buddy system. Yeah, because I don't, I don't, I don't trust get Charles at all. I don't want to get snatched. That's fair. I don't trust the cop hater. There might be security guards or something. <laughs> um, it's hard to trust the cop hater. Yeah. And I am kind of wearing one of the sea suits, so maybe not the best idea. All right. I'm so maybe. Here, here's here's what I suggest. You know, I understand. You don't want me walking around City Hall. I hate cops. I'm gonna get into a fight. I get it. Um, Lillian, you have a big knife. It's hidden. Yeah, but you have a big knife. Uh, you you go with Raphael. Oh, okay. Just in case things go wrong, you have your big knife. Gotcha. And then. Ellis and I, we can we can stay with the car to make sure nothing goes wrong, and you can call for our help if you need it. Okay. 
if you see people just absolutely losing their minds and screaming, then that means we need help. Yeah. Right. Also, um, since you said you're staying with the car and the car is stolen and you have a problem with cops, and if cops happen to notice that one of the missing cars is sitting here, uh, where should we meet you? Back at the boarding house? Back at the apartment. Jack Smith's apartment? No, the apartment that the society has for us. That we stayed yeah, in. Staying like, at the society. You, you, you stayed, stayed at the boarding, boarding house. house. Yeah. No, I thought we chose to stay in the apartment. No, you guys collectively chose to stay at the. Uh, yeah. Because we it would be house. less suspicious. We yeah. were worried we were going to get snatched. Oh, you know what? You're right. You're right. I, okay. I'm misremembering. Okay, yeah, good. the boarding house. I was just worried you slept there, and then we <laughs> slept at a different <laughs> place. <laughs> Me too. All right, so we're okay. So, Broius and Tom are asking around City Hall for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, so. Do we want to do this as a looking for my friend thing, or do we want to do it a different way? Do we know what exactly his responsibilities are, given his place in government? Um, I mean, you can ask around and find out. I mean, is there anywhere we could look that up? There's someone standing ask. around wearing yellow that I could just ask and they would tell me. No. Be a page or something. No, no yellow pages. <laughs> He's a fixture in government. Uh, was he? He was in one of the newspaper articles, right? They referenced him and they referenced yeah. his company. I don't think his company. Oh. It was just like it was a like uh bill that he he had been like introducing. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Do you remember what the bill was on or about? I think they just said the bill. That's so annoying. Do you want to try to play the uh, we're civic minded people and would like to talk about his bill? Nice and vague. I like it. Yeah. We, we ask, we get more info, we find out more about his motivation. Mm -hmm. That works. Yeah. And I'm All ready right. to go on in. So Let's do it. what are you looking for first? Are you basically looking for like a receptionist-esque person to yes. like direct you? Okay. Yeah. So walking in, there would be a like there, initial there room. There yellow pages, but there is a receptionist. <laughs> Everywhere has a receptionist. Um, there's basically going to be an a introductory room um, with like a, a head receptionist that like sends you into mul like various wings. Like one wing is like just for like courthouse type stuff. Um, mm -hmm. versus, like, the offices or, like, the public chambers, like, that, those kinds of things. Uh, and she'll greet you as you walk in, like, hello, what can I do for you all today? Hey, uh, I was here to try to meet up with Mr. Charles. Um, it, it, but the thing is, is that uh, I don't think I have an appointment. I My friend was trying to do it, and I think he... Uh, my buddy Ashy, I think he like messed up, and I don't see an appointment written down. But we were going to try to catch up with Mr. Charles. How is he doing today? Is his is his day busy? Is there like a way we can squeeze in and just talk to him for a little bit? I wanted to hear about his bill. Oh, Mr. Charles is uh, currently out right now. Um, is there any place where like uh, where would he be out? Like, uh, or is there a way to talk to him or contact him? Um, actually, out of speech or out of out of character, can I uh, invoke? I can take my time, and we can wait for him to come in. I mean, that would be if you were rolling a check about like waiting for him to come in, okay. like 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 against exhaustion or something like that. If he took okay. seven days, 
<laughs> I, I, I just rolled like a four, and I don't know what skill to roll that for. Is that deception or is that uh? Yeah, that'd be deception. And I rolled a four you're, deception. You're, you're lying about why you want to meet him. Yeah, I rolled a four deception then. Um. I. I, I guess. Because what do you? What did you ask specifically? It was like if there's any way to to meet him. Uh, is is can I go out and meet him, or is he coming back, or like wh how can I meet him uh, in a reasonable amount of time soon? Oh, um, I I don't know exactly where he is. He's been running some uh, important errands most of the day. Um, I I believe he last I saw he was somewhere around the city hall, uh, like back garden. Back garden? I could go he to is. the back garden. Yeah. But I believe he yeah. has other stuff he's doing today, so I'm not sure if he's still there. Oh, uh, uh, short, short of an itemized schedule, that's the best, uh, news I've gotten. So this is a huge, this is honestly a huge help. What was your name? She says her name. Can her name be Paige? Sure. <laughs> then we were looking it up <sighs> in one of Thank the pages. You, Paige. Uh, Can you make uh, him have to invoke uh, that her name is Paige? Yes. I invoke that her name is Paige. <laughs> point to make her name Paige. <laughs> All, right, All right, what do you um, do? I guess let's go to City Hall. Well, you're in City Hall. You're basically just going to be uh, going outside and like going, yeah, going to outside. the very back. Basically going yeah. around the building because you wouldn't be allowed through the, the main offices without an appointment. Um, but it's a fairly small little, like, garden area. Um, it looks like it, it's sort of a, uh, like, has grown smaller as city planning has, like, shrunk it in a bit. Um, you see a couple people um, milling here and there, uh, but you do not see uh, Charles anywhere. Uh, pardon me. I, w I was trying to meet up with uh, Mr. Charles. Has anyone seen him? Uh, hmm. It's gonna make things difficult for me, but fine. Uh, roll me investigation or no, no, rapport. Or that is a one. It'll kind of look at you and just be like, I don't have time. I have things to do. Uh, Same here. That's why I need to find Mister. That's why I need quick. to find Mister. Charles. First off. Kristen, you yeah. have a memory that comes flooding back. Okay. Did she remember where Charles was? No. Ah. Uh. Did she remember where Charles was? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he was stashed somewhere, like, you know, in a, in a barrel that someone threw in the ocean. Ha. Huh. Still think that was a better idea than just leaving him there. Okay. So you'll you'll write that aspect under the truth, and you'll pick one of those skills and put it wherever. Okay. But specifically under skills, don't put it under like stunts. Wait, where's the aspect and put it under the truth? Oh, no, not where's you. The... Oh. You didn't have a memory. Okay, sorry. I thought you were saying that. I thought you, like because I just I accidentally flipped over a skills card and was like, "Oh no. wait, where'd my cards go?" <laughs> uh, so, Kristen, grab or uh, pick one of those skills to put. Yeah. Two of them look like they do exactly the same thing. What does empathy do? Uh, empathy is a defense against intimidation, but it's basically like your way of... Uh, it also defends against deceit. It's basically your way of understanding someone's true intentions um, and also like 
getting your intentions to someone like it, it's it's empathizing with people so it's understanding what they're feeling and sort of like connecting with them okay it is very good if people are trying to lie to you but not so great for trying to get people to it can uh it, it's it's similar to rapport it, but like with a slightly different like flavor to it because rather than like trying to like make a good first impression with someone you're like actually trying to connect and them like hey i understand you're busy tell me this and we will be on our way like kind of like type of thing Um, so one of the people says that they've, or all, everyone we've talked to so far? I mean, like, you just kind of, like, talk to, like, the first person you walked, that walked in, or that you saw as you walked in. Okay. And he so said they... he was busy and, like, tried to move past. Yeah, I get that. I mean, life these days never stops. But just, have you seen him? If you could just point us, I'm not asking for a long conversation, just a direction. Yeah, can we roll uh, empathy then? too. He'll sort of, like, pause for a second, like, alright, yeah, look, he's, he went to, um, ah, he went to the Smiling Cherub, I think he said. Thanks. Appreciate Excellent. It. Thank you so much. He just nods kind of, like, a little grumpy and walks off. <laughs> Smiling Cherub, yeah. huh? Smiling Cherub. We, we, we know that place. Do you get the rest of your party yeah we probably yes should. yes and what is it we shouldn't order unless we want to talk to someone coffee? uh it'd be if you order a coffee around or a coffee black around midnight oh okay so you so we can't can really it do it now. this time of day and it'd be fine we wouldn't get people i'm kidding yeah let's go to the smiling chair all right you collect your friends do you tell them anything Charles is off doing a bunch of errands. Uh, last I heard, he is at the Smiling Chair. Um, I pull out Jack Smith's ID card and I say, do you think I should be carrying this around still? Do we need this? I mean, it's better than leaving it in your car to be found. But I mean, like, we could just throw it away. Uh-uh. Okay. I was gonna say I do not want that thrown away. Something that if that gets thrown away, just I don't know, but something that just is the biggest Someone of bad vibes. It. Yeah, that is the biggest of bad vibes. Maybe we could burn it or something. If or, worse comes to worse, I'll eat it. Or we could <laughs> always put it in someone's pocket. That I mean, it's in my good. pocket. Yeah, but we could put it in someone else. else's pocket. Ooh. Like Mr. Charles. Like a random person's pocket. I see what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you guys head to Smiling Cherub? Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright. You arrive there. Uh, if When you walk in, you don't see him, but as I said previously, there's a lot of like private booths and places like that. Mm hmm But we can always just ask the guy at the front and say, hey, um, we needed to meet Mr. Charles. Uh, I, where is he sitting? I'll sort of look at you like, uh, he is currently in a meeting with some friends of his, I believe. But uh, probably be wrapped up soon if you want to wait outside for him. Yeah, where, uh, where is this meeting? It's in a private booth. Who's the friend? I believe you should ask Mr. Charles that. Yes, I'm sorry about them. Um, he he wanted me to drop something off. It's kind of personal. Could you just point? I won't interrupt them. I'm just gonna 
just go up and tell you what. In that case, I'll just let Mr. Charles know uh, you're here, and he'll come find you once his meeting is over. Thank you. Appreciate it. And he nods and walks off. Is that how we want this to go, or should we just disappear? Oops, that was weird. I swear they were here. Um, I think someone should check the back exit and see who else leaves. Uh, if we can get a look from them leaving the front, then we could see him leave in the front, but someone should check the back and see who he was meeting Actually, with. Actually, wait, did he walk off to go tell him? Yeah. Let's look and see where he goes. Yeah, let's, yeah, good idea. Uh, well, I mean, That's he walked into a uh, back room. Oh, okay, never mind. And after like a minute, he comes back. He says, all right, he said he'll meet you outside. Can we meet him inside? No, he said he'd meet us outside. Hmm. I think we've bothered this person enough for today. Thank you for your help. Of course. I was going to say, this is a person who's working like a, you know, customer service job. So, yeah. <laughs> so do you guys wait outside for him? Well, should some of us wait? behind us if anyone leaves like you said yeah yeah i can do that same parties as before sounds uh, good sure i can go with ellis so just like having two people inside to see if he leaves elsewhere you mean see who else leaves after he who leaves, else leaves yeah. uh, okay um okay yeah so after a little less than like less than five minutes um you see velvet charles uh walk past uh you two at the front door um and you see like a couple other people that you don't know you've never seen but just look very much like what you expect businessmen to look like oh they look like business uh but girls will walk out the door and see you all be like hi i believe uh i was told you all had a message for me or an item i believe i can't quite remember Oh yeah, well, no, it was a message. Um, we had tried to make an appointment. It was about this bill. Ah yes. What what would you like to know about it? Um. Well, how exactly is it going to alter the status quo from the existing laws and infrastructure? And uh, if you're going to do that, do you need to repeal any already existing <laughs> laws or amend them? That is the best. Bullshit. I love it. <laughs> I don't. Why do I? Why do I know any of this? Why do you think it matters? <laughs> so can I, convo. He, he, can I go and meet the up with them outside? Yes. Oh gosh. Um. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna pull up right next to Bernard Charles, and I'm gonna put my arm around him. And I'm gonna say, "Hey, what can you tell me about the beneficent one?" <laughs> so he like starts to answer Tom. He's like, "Ah, oh, well, this bill should." And you put your hand on his shoulder. He's like, "Oh, the beneficial one, old friend of mine. Some campaign contributions for my uh, my next term." Um, I mean, does he have a name? You say he's an old friend, but all anybody knows him as is the beneficent beneficent one. Yeah. What's his what? name? What's his name? Oh, the beneficent one. I just said that. No, does he have an, another name, like a, a person name? Does his mom write him write him beneficent one confused. or Benny? Um, I'm gonna pull out one of my pictures of him and the beneficent one together. Okay. Ooh. And I'm gonna ask him, uh, what can you tell me about this meeting? Ah, oh, that must have been from a couple of weeks ago, I believe. We met up to talk a bit more about uh, some of the just, you know, books, book talk about uh, campaign trail and, you know, how much they'd be able to. Uh... That word that I just used and I can't remember contribute. And and how much does he contribute? Oh, I'm afraid I can't say too much about that, of course. Um, I, I, I don't have a lot of it uh, memorized per se, but um, I believe it's it's all public record. At the uh, at the hall, if you ever want to check it out. Oh, okay, thank you. 
Uh, so his name in the public hall of records is the beneficent <laughs> one. I'm not sure why you guys don't understand that. That just sounds more like a title than a name. Does his mom call him Benny? <laughs> You're very stuck on what his mom calls him. You guys pick the weirdest information to, to hyper focus on <laughs> as though that's going to solve the murder. <laughs> it's just like if his name happens to be like with Jack Smith. Yeah. <laughs> right. Only name that could possibly matter. <laughs> yeah, that's that's basically yeah, that's what I'm asking. Although does it seem like he's telling the truth? Uh you can roll an empathy check. All right, let me see. Um yeah, that's a four. Um, it's hard to say. Because he's a politician. Yeah. He does seem to be an accomplished liar. Uh, do you but know a man named can, Jack? Hold on. You can oh. also invoke that people do what you want, if you would like. And, uh... Or, I'm sorry, you can love a good challenge of trying to determine, you know, if someone is lying or not. Because this is, this is a difficult person to figure out, usually. Yeah. Okay. If you would like to. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. He seems... You'll take a fate point, but you'll get a plus two. Or reroll if you'd like. I don't know that but, I'm going to roll better than that. Yeah, you rolled well. You rolled really well. I'll just take the plus two. Awesome. So that'll put you at six. six. Um, You definitely think that... Uh, he definitely knows that the beneficial one's name is the beneficial one. Um, But you definitely think that it's not quite campaign contributions. Or if it is, there's a uh, more besides that. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, Charles. Yeah. Bernard. Benny. I can I call I you Benny? What? Uh, do you know a man named Jack? <laughs> well, I know many men. A lot of, at least a couple of them named Jack for sure. Uh, yours? no, no, my name isn't. Um, I'm Ashy, by the way. I don't know if we've met before, but we haven't. <laughs> um, I'm specifically asking about a man named Jack Cross. I have not heard of him. Okay. So um, he doesn't know Jack. Uh, huh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did, uh, oh, what about a, a man named Vincent? Have you ever met a man named Vincent? <laughs> <laughs> he looks a little, like, tired. It's just like, no, I have not met a man named Vincent. Are you going to ask me about Jerry next? Depends. Did Jerry do anything weird? No. Can I please go along my errands today? Unless you have any more asinine questions to ask me i'm very busy as you may know yes hanging out in a bar during your work day all right listen buddy there are groups you can go to if you're day drinking he was at a meeting and i am sorry that we interrupted your busy day um i we we really just were curious about we're trying to figure out what's going on with our friend jack and we thought you might know but since you don't really know I'm sorry for interrupting you. I'm trying to not make him hate us in case we need to talk to him again. Can I just show him the monster's left hand? <laughs> Please do not. I, I just assume that in a in a like TV show of this, every single time the camera like focuses on a person, like an NPC, and Wombat's in the background starts pulling out the hand and it gets tackled off screen by another (laughs) (laughs) 
I mean, it's just, we're not getting anywhere with this guy. I mean, you have tried asking the weirdest question <laughs> yeah, I've ever heard in my life. Weird, weird Talking question. to a person like they're literally like they're just an NPC and not someone who actually has shit to do and is an adult human person. But I don't if, care about him. Yes, but if <laughs> you did, obvious. maybe you would get somewhere, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been to the Society of Free Thought? I have not. Oh, okay. That's weird. We swung um, by for the first time a couple nights ago, and and it seemed pretty cool. I was just curious if you were ever there. No, no, he has been. I don't need you to answer, um, Benny, because this picture that I just showed you of you and the beneficent one is taken in front of the so Society of Free Thought. Oh, well, I've, I've never gone in. I've just done some meetings with a beneficent one outside. Why would you do a meeting outside? They have uh, they have an open meeting area inside, along with a whole bunch of closed, guarded doors where you could have a reasonable meeting. And I imagine someone like you and someone like the beneficent one, you might want to have a more private space for a meeting. I mean, if you just have a meeting in bars and you're trying to be quiet about it, you know, and try to be you know, what's the word, discreet, it would make sense that you're being discreet also with meeting the beneficent one. Unless you're scared to go inside for some reason. He, he sort of gets like a little like huffy and just like, I'm sorry, am I being accused of something? No. I'm accusing you of being a filthy fucking liar. Why don't you want people to know that you've been to the Society of Free Thought? Um, roll me intimidation. Okay. That, that is essentially what you are currently doing. That seems to be. I'm gonna say, okay, bad cop. What'd you say? Two. It's a two. Okay. Um, you could also invoke something if you want. Don't forget that. That's always possible, even if you don't have the skill. Um, sure. I'll in, I'll invoke. I always get my way, like it or not. All right. So, take one of those. Um, so that's a four. Like just the plus two. Yeah. All right. He's a he's a bit rattled. From from that, uh, you'll get two free invocations of that at some point if you guys would like. Um, he he looks flustered and uh, a, a little a little scared, more than a little scared. So well, uh, uh, look, there's there's a lot of questions and things being thrown around here. Tell you what, I give you a check right now. And we just walk away. We just don't ask any questions, all right? It's nothing important. I just don't need people knowing about some of the places I go to, you know? They seem I'm like sorry, good you guys. think Why would I can be, be worried about what? <laughs> sorry, what did you say, Tom? I said, oh, you seem pretty worried somebody might find out. Who would be worried about that sort of thing? Is it a voting populist thing, or is Actually, there someone specific? Just, just, it's just some people. It doesn't matter. Ashley, it's not even noon yet, and you smell like a brewery. Yes, he thinks you can be bought. I cannot <laughs> be bought. Just, well, I, I actually have some, uh, some excellent, um, some, some vintage um, <laughs> whiskey that I've been saving for, for a special occasion. But if you, if you'd like a, a glass, I could. Benny, 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 Benny. Why are you calling him Benny? He's not he's not named Benny. Benny. I don't want your money. I don't want your alcohol as much as I'd love the taste of it on my lips right now. I don't want your alcohol. I'd love it. I'd love your alcohol. But people are dying, Benny. People are dying. 
And you're involved somehow, Benny. No, I didn't kill him, okay? Oh, didn't kill you who. didn't kill who? Who didn't you kill? Your Jack friend or whoever you said died. You I didn't, didn't say, say anybody died. died. You didn't say anybody died. I didn't even give you a real name. He looks uh, a little embarrassed. <laughs> Um, a so, look, if it's, why don't you just give us a direct answer as to what's going on? Like, obviously you know something about this. He'll, he'll straighten up a bit and he's like, you know what? It's not like anyone would have any evidence anyway. It's fine. I sent someone after him. All right. After who? Jack Smith. Okay. Why? why? Needed him to be out of the way. Of After what? Book? Couple plans of mine. Who'd you send after him? A man named Michael Cobb. Found Do you know where you find all the other people like him down at the, uh, the yellow the pages? Outhouse. Down at the outhouse? Is that what you Ale said? house. Oh, okay. Old Bullards. <laughs> Everybody it's all poops, man. Thing. Calm down. What'd you say, Rose? Uh, it tastes about the same thing. <laughs> Okay, so... So you had Jack Smith killed because of plans? He opposed quite a few bills I was thinking of. And more importantly, you know, just asking questions I didn't want to answer. Meaning we could be next. As long as you don't talk too much about it, I have no reason to. Okay, Benny. Here's what we're gonna do. Since you were helpful, I don't see that we really need to talk to anyone about this. We'll go talk to Michael Cobb. We'll corroborate your story. In the meantime, I'm gonna punch you in the fucking face. <laughs> why? But why are you just gonna just attack someone right like now? He's a murderer! On the front step of a public restaurant. You can't just punch people out in public, Ashy. Do you really want to go back to the police station? No, we can. We'll take him around back first, and I'm gonna punch him in the face. You We're realize he's a it. famous politician. I was gonna say this is this would be yes, a but problem. he is a politician. This is also how we get assassins sent after us, apparently. Yeah, just. I mean, unless you want to talk to Cobb way earlier. I think walking away is, is a good thing to do. Right no, now. I'm punching him in the face. Okay, on Main Street? On Main Street. We're gonna stop him, right? Yes. Thank you. I'm rolling a fist check right now. Can I roll an opposed might to grapple him and stop him? Uh, Can I roll an alertness to catch him before he does it? <laughs> Literally every single other person in the party. <laughs> I rolled yeah. a three. Um... Actually, Tom, here, here, this is for you. That might help you in what you currently want to do. Well, that's not too good. That's a two. Ooh. Okay, so do I have to replace one of my existing aspects for this? Nope. You write it underneath the truth. One of those question marks. Uh, okay. And it's just skills, so we get one of those? Yep, you pick one skill to put wherever. Um. Okay. Also, apparently, I think I erased my all of my equipment for some reason. Oh, shoot. You had a toolbox. Yeah, I had a toolbox. I had a mag uh, the newspaper. 
Yeah. What was your starting item? Oh, duct tape. Duct tape. Yeah. And an unloaded gun. That's right, you had an unloaded pistol. And I am going to... With, um... With the handle pointed outwards, uh, I'm gonna smack Ashy in the head, uh, upside the head. Like, um, like basically pistol whip him. Pistol whip him, but not holding the gun in a way that could be fired. So it's I don't want to make it escalate the situation worse, but yeah. I want to smack him. Uh, does that count towards fighting dirty? Um, no. Not not so, like that would be if you like tried to like pistol whip his dick. <laughs> Okay. Or, you know, something like that. And I'm going to try and, like, grab Charles's arm to, like, pull him away the moment Wombat releases his grip, because he had Wombat, his arm around him. Everyone is so always constantly ready to interrupt anything that Wombat does. <laughs> yeah, I rolled a five. <laughs> I rolled a five to hit him upside the head. Um. Okay, and Rose, what did you roll for Might? Uh, a two. And, Broyce, what did you roll? I wasn't sure what to roll. Is could that be athletics? Because I'm trying to like forcibly dodge with him, or do I need to make a might check? Um, I guess that would be like a might check. Okay. One. All right, and this is just like in a, in any show where like one person goes to throw a punch and like every single other person grabs them the person just like rabidly trying to hit the other person <laughs> is this scrappy do being held back from attacking the monster yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> except that this scrappy do is very intimidating i was gonna say except he's a fully grown great day <laughs> and, and i've bitten the throat out of somebody before like a yeah. great day all right uh <laughs> He doesn't with... have great reach, so if I can just get him a little bit away, <laughs> 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 got him. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, um, w with everyone's help, he does manage to not get hit from it. But, uh, I, I mean, like, he feels the fear of God for sure, or at least the fear of wombat. <laughs> um, you're lucky. All these other fucking people are here. You'd be. You'd be on the ground. Um, Fucking dirtbag. Well, I'm going to fill your, your four stress box from uh, from your friend hitting you, but also that goes away at the end of the scene, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Just as a something. But yeah, I mean, Webster, like Tom, Tom's character, uh, Raphael, just sort of like out of nowhere put out his gun and, like, smacked you on the top of the head hard, which you have not seen him even consider doing before. <laughs> I just had, like, a John Wick-style flashback to me beating the crap out of a whole lot of people. Yeah. So that just happened. So, <laughs> he, he, like, looks scared from him. He's like, you people are crazy. I gotta go. <laughs> and just, like, hurries away down Main Street. As he's running away, I kind of yell after him, Well, you aren't wrong. You better run! Uh, people are starting to stare. I'm going to quietly, like, grab Lily's shoulder as I walk by and, like, drag her into the alley. Yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, I just kind of go, I kind of shrug as people walk by and I go, Politicians, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> they, they, as you, like, make eye contact with them to say that, they kind of, like, Look away and like hurry down the street. I like the well, one that's like, we shouldn't go like bring a murder weapon to the murder scene, that would cause a lot of like trouble if we're found. I will yell and punch a politician in the center of town where everybody is. Yeah, we can have a giant target on our back now. I'd have taken them around back if people would let me. Yeah, they would have people would have seen that too. That's also weird to do. <laughs> Accosting a polit like a well-known politician. Yeah, I'm just gonna take take a senator's lunch money. Yeah, Th that's why people have shitty meetings on doorsteps in the middle of the night, not on the fucking middle of the road, stopping traffic and yelling about their illicit business. 
I'll yell about what I want to yell about. So what do you guys want to do? You you still have Mr. Cole to look into, um, if you want to, or you can go look for Cobb. This newly so we got Cole and Cobb. At least a little. I think Cobb is probably going to find us at this point, so let's go look at Mr. Cole. Yeah. I don't think he'll find you in a way where you can talk to him, though. I, I'm kind of interested in going and finding Cobb. And should we head off the meeting, head, head Cobb off and try to go to him? Yeah, I mean, the, uh, uh, Benny, Benny, he said, he said he's at the ale house. So let's go, let's listen to Benny and we'll go see if he's at the you ale house. have had enough. I have to understand why you keep calling him Benny. Because I made a joke about the beneficent one and I think he took it and ran with it. Yeah, but the beneficent one would be Benny. It, that's not it. Um, it's I, because his name is Bernard, and, and like there we go. Okay, yeah. I'm only okay with it as long as you guys call yourself the Jets. <laughs> Does that mean we're fighting the Sharks? Uh, no, you're Benny and the Jets. We're getting our references very tangled. Benny and the Jets fighting the Sharks. It's All right, the, so it's where the are new you going? West Side Story. I mean, my vote is the Ale House. Same. Yeah, it'd be best to head that guy off. Okay. All right, so it's time to learn a new mechanic because you have learned something important about yourselves now. More, more than before where you, you had memories pop up, these memories feel more real somehow. And because of it, the, this, this place you're in reacts to things like that strangely. And, and truth has power. So, now I get to teach you about what is called pushing, tuning, and shaping. If you look at your character sheets under the truth, you will see pushing, tuning, and shaping, and a, a mm -hmm. brief description. I have prepared little note cards for them as well. Um, but essentially, pushing is, allows you to do something impossible with yourself via one of your true aspects. It, it allows you to essentially become a more incarnate version of something like that. So um, if a character had the uh, aspect never stop running, they could tune themselves, which would spend a, a uh, fate point. But instead of getting a bonus, you roll a skill. So in that case, you would invoke it to roll athletics. Uh, and depending on how well you do, you can do things likely more impossible, such as running straight up a wall. What? Because you are tuning yourself to be more in line with your true aspects and, like, changing the world to allow it to happen. Man, did I take the red pill this morning? Wait, isn't that shaping? Because tuning says you force someone no, no, else no. to behave. P pushing is like changing. I'm sorry. Pushing is what I meant for the first one. Apologies. Oh. P pushing is forcing yourself to do something that you normally can't do. Um, where is. I'm trying to get the longer explanation of it so I have more to go off of. But uh, essentially, you, you take some mental damage for it because. Even though you are still allowing, like, causing yourself to do it, it still hurts your brain. Like, you're, you're still doing things that shouldn't be possible, um, and it, it stresses your brain out to do it. So you take um, one point of mental stress. However, you also get in, that mental stress increases based on how well you beat the check, for, like, to do what you are trying to do. So it, it can be risky for how, like, some of the, the very, like, impossible things that you're doing, but it can also get you out of ridiculous circumstances that you wouldn't have been able to get out before. Tuning is sort of the same, but instead of changing yourself, you are changing someone else. Not one of each other, but like an NPC. So basically, you are invoking one of your aspects to change another person but it's not just it makes them do what you do it is something like this 
uh, for example, one of the things that they say is you could have a aspect called the first hit is free. And you look at that and you think, hmm, I might have been a drug dealer. Even though I don't have these memories yet, it seems like that. I'm going to tune that security guard to put him in a drug-induced stupor. And knocks him out. So I guess my question here is, can you tune other players? No. Uh, you cannot change another player because they also have the truth. Okay. So uh, they're, they're resistant to it because they already know what's happening, but the, the random people in here don't know what's happening, like what this world is like generally. And thus, you can use that against them. Um, but you're basically forcing someone to act in accordance to your aspects or things based on your aspects. Um, it hurts a little more because you're, you're forcing a bit of darkness into this dark world. And so um, you receive a two stress composure hit, um, but you can increase the amount that you take to extend the length of the effect. Because it's generally just like an immediate thing. Like it would last for quote unquote around or, you know, one short period of time. But you could, like, take three or four stress, but it would last for, like, the rest of the scene. So you just don't have to worry about the security guard. Shaping is the most powerful and, of course, the most dangerous because of it. Um, rather than tuning yourself, or pushing yourself or tuning someone else, you change the environment. You, you literally shape the dome, like the bit of, bits of the area around you to do something that you want. So if you had an aspect called like under the cover of darkness, um, you could shape the immediate area around you to have an inky blackness that only you can see through. Suddenly people don't know where you are and you just leave the room. This automatically gives you a mild mental consequence. Or minor is the word that it should use, but the book's weird. Um, and that can also be increased, but for longer effects or stronger effects. These are obviously very strange things, so it's going to take a while to like get used to them and know when to use them and stuff. But just keep those in your back pocket. It's it's stuff that you can only use with your true aspects, so. Um, it, you don't have a lot of possibility yet, but the more of those you get, the more you'll find ways or reason to use them. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. There was so much silence. I'm like, did I did I do it wrong? No, I'm I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I'm thinking of how I can use this, and there's only one idea that comes to mind right now. Right. Mine feels very situational. Well, yeah, so like, you know, you could, um, you know, tune someone else to force them to leave by virtue of the thinking that someone's in danger. Or like, uh, you could shape a force field around someone. Uh, Rose, like, you could, you know, shape a doorway that didn't exist previously. Exactly. That's what was the thing I was thinking. Yeah. Or like a third alleyway that no one saw. Yeah. You could even, like, tune yourself to basically like burst through like solid wall that like normally a might check can't get you through sure all right so you guys are heading to old bullards old bullards the ale house yeah the yale house this place is in I believe north side. Uh, mm -hmm. Get some drink, kill a hitman, you know. We will be doing neither of those, hopefully. Yeah, so this is north of Eden Park. Um, it's it's sort of like, it's in a place called the Narrows, which is a lot of like small, like not necessarily poor housing, but it's very much the like et cetera housing that they've thought of afterwards. It's got a lot of like seedier stuff. Um, and Old Ballard is no different. I mean, just like showing up and looking at it, it, it certainly looks like it could use some repairs, 
but also like it has been like that for a while and nobody has cared to do so. Mm. It, it looks like it's for a rough crowd, essentially. Okay. That's um, my kind of place. Does anyone have a fake eye patch we can wear? Uh, I could fashion some out of these jack cards. No, tape. that's okay. We don't need to do that. Wait, We're just gonna take the patch? top hat off. Just I look, I look in part now. <laughs> Good call. So, as you arrive, it's still a little busy, despite it being pretty early in the morning. Um, you'll see a bartender behind the counter. Um, couple waitresses um but by their dress you would assume they might offer more services than that is that a delicate enough way to say it i think we get your meaning uh, yeah we got it um actually you might need you to spell it out but uh the and travel I mean, there's, also. there's some people out, there's like a couple like crowded booths um and you know pe people will generally everywhere it might be into multi-level marketing. So what do you do? Because you don't know what he looks like. I mean, the best course of action is always to ask the bartender. The yeah. bartender knows everything. Except, there's only one person who knows more, and it's the, the lonely stranger in the corner. Yes. Uh, yes. But there's not one here, so. Bartender's gonna have to do it. Nobody's lonely. Everybody's happy here. So I'm gonna sit down in front of the bartender. I'm gonna say, hey man. I'm looking for somebody. Looks at you, he's like, hmm. Yeah, lots of people are. What are you having? Uh I'd like a cob salad. <laughs> God. Wow. I'm sorry, I almost what fell out of my chair right then. Same. Wow. I think you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm just so mad at you for asking that. That's the worst way to say <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, he'll, he'll kind of like keep cleaning his glass and like pause as you say that. Be like, so the stranger's funny, is he? Um, I, I, Am I a stranger? I thought... I thought you and I knew each other, my bad. No, never seen you before. Still, you know, I got a good feel for people. And I think you know who I'm looking for. All right, so I guess rapport? I'm always rolling checks for skills I don't have. I was going to say, would you like, can I help him with rapport? No, because I'm talking. Yeah. That's a one. Uh, he'll, he'll look at you and just be like, don't know who we're talking about. I'm sorry. My brother's a little protective um i just it's a personal matter can can you just point out to him who the guy is so we can get this over with uh roll me deceit not empathy you did just call him your brother <laughs> <laughs> well we don't know My that bro. that's not true <laughs> This is true. We don't remember like, anything. Yeah, you know what? There's an equal chance that he is my brother or a stranger. <laughs> it's a one. Oh, no, it's a zero. Never mind. He will uh, look at you again and be like, I'd uh, help you if I could, but never never heard of him. All right, this is stupid. I'm going to spin around in my seat, and I'm going to yell out to the entire bar, Cobb, come on out here. 
everyone turns to look at you. And the room goes eerily quiet for a moment. I've stepped away again. Like, when he turned around, I was just, like, getting away. Yeah, I knew he was I'm back in out of sight. <laughs> yep. Well. <laughs> oh, boy. Guess we're already on this section, aren't we? <laughs> oh God! Hey, on the bright side, it's uh, already written down, so things can't be going too wrong. Uh, Rose and Tom, where are you currently at? Because I believe Bro and Wombat are at the bar. Not um, anymore. At this point, I am ducked out of sight, trying to where were play you? inconspicuous. Where were you before? Uh, arms distance away from them, but nearby enough. Okay, so we'll still say bar area. What about you, Tom? Uh, I'm going to say I am indoors in the bar, probably near the door. All right. Oh, real quick, did my health tick go away? Oh, yes. I feel like I was trapped into this situation. Really? Because I feel like I did nothing to cause <laughs> you to do this, but it is your... Like, I can't believe you're like, I think I was trapped into this. Yeah. Like, oh, I was trapped into taking... I was trapped into murdering someone because, you know, I tried to talk to them nicely and they didn't do it, so I, I just had to murder them. Like, no, there were plenty of other chances. I didn't say murder him. I know, I but just you know, call him just... A, I'm just calling him out. I was going to um, say, Wombat is just sitting here doing the, we're trying to find the guy who did this meme. Okay. So, uh, as, after a brief pause, one of the guys a few sits away from you stands up and is like, Hey, shut the fuck up! And throws her fist at you. Oh no. Uh, can I catch his fist with my endurance? No, well, you can roll endurance or fist to uh, attempt to block and or take it. But yeah, it's an attack. Right, they're both three, so it doesn't really matter which one I'm rolling. That is a four. All right. Book that, because he is spoiling for a fight. All right. He's going to do two, two stress hit to you. Whoops, oh. sorry. <laughs> and it's a brawl. Everyone gets up to start fighting. Not necessarily you. <laughs> but you know someone i see it's one of these places good old bar fight yeah back to a corner somehow ashy is correct in saying i belong here <laughs> <laughs> this hole was made for me i this tried to hole. sneak over to the so, door and rock so are we in combat now Yes. Uh, it looks like Broius is going to start us. We don't even know who we're really fighting. <laughs> well, you know, a bunch of guys. <laughs> Great. All 
All right, Brev, what you doing? Um, has anyone seems to decide that I am a target? Um, well, not necessarily easy to tell yet, but there are certainly three of you pretty close to three of the guys at the bar. So they're they're certainly eyeing you guys now. They just haven't had enough chance to move a whole lot. But uh, I, I will certainly say you definitely don't think you can talk the bar out of this. Yeah. Certainly no. perhaps individuals, but not the the, the bar. I've, I've been in enough bar fights to know. Mob mentality, man. There's no talking any single one of them out of what's happening right now. If I could try and move a little bit away from Ashy. Um, without drawing. So basically, the way combat will work here, and uh, often in the future, if it's like this, is that there are zones. So in this case, the four zones set up are behind the bar, uh, the bar stool area, the booths, and the seating, like main floor seating. So if you are in that zone with other people, they can attack you. There's no like five foot stepping or like you know keeping up with that kind of thing because that yeah. slows everything down and isn't isn't fun or interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, moving away is basically you are moving to another zone. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and move away from the bar. Well. Uh, I mean, your options are to either jump behind the bar uh, or go to the booth area where Tom is, but also several groups of people, or just the main seating area where there is still three people. So it seems like we're definitely in this fight. Yeah, we're we're in the fight. We in it. Let's see if we could just leave you in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, okay. I'll just try and move away into the seating area. Okay. Uh, roll me athletics. I think that's a two from you still. Two. Yeah, you move fine. Okay. So you are now in seating. Who do you want to go next? Um, I'll let Rose go. Or Alice. Okay. Do any look like they're coming near enough to me to be a concern? I mean, they haven't had a chance to act yet. And there's no and ready there are three of them in the bar area that can attack us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if they are, or are they at least already during a combat? Like, are they already throwing fists? Yeah, they look like after that first punch went, they look immediately ready to. Okay. Um,. Well, I'm, I'm not there a punch yet, so can I still try to, like, hide out of sight, like, behind the bar and wait for now? For now? You're, you're going to jump over the bar? Yeah. You you're like, not interested in this bar fight. No. Oh, not yet. <laughs> uh, there will be people flying here soon. Um, before you do, something clicks in your mind.
not sure how to take this, but okay. You know, in case that changes your strategy, I suppose. For now, I don't think it does. Okay. Don't forget, you can also use that to deal mental damage. Yeah. Which is my favorite um, thing. Actually, no, I think I will change my plan. I'll look at the at the three in the same area as me, and Snarl, back the fuck off. Awesome. I'm just trying to intimidate them. Yeah. That's a six. Whew! Whew. Nice. Uh, I hope they're rattled, baby. <laughs> Shaken, maybe. Stirred, even. Is it a six? Yeah. All right. Well, the two that didn't deck Wombat <laughs> just, like, jump back and uh, start booking it for the door. <laughs> they are out of the fight. Okay. I have a feeling I know who the one who decked me is, so that's good. All right. Who do you want to go next, Rose? Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'll have one back go. Why not? Let's make this interesting. Okay. Um. So you said he decked me? Yeah. I'm going to spit a little blood out of my mouth uh, into his face. <laughs> and I'm going to punch him. J just a, a, a strong body blow. Okay. That is a four. All right, you get a good hit on him. Um, he's still here, but he looks like not winded, but at the very least, like you know, you got a good hit. He's still in, but uh, he, he hurts. Okay. Uh, who you want to go next? Uh, I mean, it's Tom. Alrighty, I'm by the uh, the booths you said, right? Yeah. So I think it is, uh, I'm going to pull out my gun, my unloaded gun, and start <laughs> using it as a weapon. I am going to just make sure nobody leaves. I am going to start trying to drop people as fast as possible. And I am going to try to um, take them down uh, without any regards to sportsmanlike conduct. That is to say... I am going to pistol whip them in any spot that is vulnerable or soft or painful when I hit it. So are you going for an attack or are you going to create an advantage? I am. Because like dirty fighting would be advantage, um, but like just like pistol whipping them would be like damage. If I roll to do damage, will I only be able to hit one target or will I be able to create an advantage? So the way... The way this works is uh, the three people next to you are a group of minions. Okay. When you deal damage to a group of minions, so um, say they have two health for the group. The way that works is mm -hmm. each of them have two health. If you do four damage, it fills up both of the boxes for the first guy. It fills up okay. all of the boxes up to four. But there's only two. He's out. It rolls over to the next minion. Hence why okay. Rose got two of them to leave immediately. Because and, she rolled high yeah. enough to roll over to that minion. So you can pistol whip a guy hard enough that it takes out the next guy. <laughs> <laughs> then that is exactly what I am going to do. I am just going to start using it as a bludgeoning tool. Hell yeah. Let's get rolling. Big money, big money. Uh, that's a four. 
All right. Um, okay. Uh, you, you, you get one of the guys real hard in the temple. Mm -hmm. And it, it sort of throws him against one of the other guys who, who gets hit, but is still standing. Okay. And uh, I guess that's my turn. So did they get a turn now, or is it, do I get to pick somebody else? Was I the last one to go, and if that's the case? Uh, you get to pick someone to go, but it has to be among um, the groups of minions. Yeah, I was going to say, I think that's all that's left are the, the bad guys yeah. at this point. So uh, I'm going to say the minions next to me, so that way I can... Uh, face face whatever punishment they're going to get revenge with. Listen, though, Raphael, real quick. There's yeah. no such thing as a good guy or a bad guy in a bar brawl. We're all just we're all just people. Tom, I mean, what? <laughs> here's something for you. Just you know, is it uh, damage? No, it's a <laughs> it's a memory. <laughs> Hold on. Do with that information as you will. You're giving these out like candy tonight. They're the more interesting thing, so it's a uh, nice to have. Ooh, okay. Uh, all right, and uh, the guy throws a punch at you and decidedly misses. <laughs> he's, he's definitely a little off balance and dazed from his buddy slamming into him. Oh, let me make sure I remember what, uh. Okay, yeah. Cool. So, yeah, don't forget to grab a skill for it. Ah. Oh, what, a, what a fun thing, giving people memories. So, he'll have the the other people in the booth area go. Yeah. Um. First is a uh, a very very intimidating gentleman. Um, looks to be like one of the the like bigger guys around here. Mm -hmm. Old Bollards is his home, so he's going to try again. My dice are not great right now. See? Um, so that's a zero. So he's actually going to miss you. Um, but next are three very large friends of his that were all sitting at that same booth he was. Um, and one of them pulls out a, a club, essentially, um, and slams it into the guy in the back. Not you, the, the other minion that you hadn't had a chance to get near yet. Is this like a Thank you. Slams him into the other guy you had hit. <laughs> Um, and then into you. You'll take one stress box. Okay. He a big boy. Hold on, I just got cards all over my sheet. I gotta move so I can make the stress boxes. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why uh, the, like, note cards don't stack in a deck in this game. It would be really nice I, if they could. I think they can, it's just the, like... Disas like the the they d d whatever you call it they uh fall apart. Yeah. Uh. All right. And now we'll do M one's turn. For the one guy left at the bar, who previously decked Wombat, is gonna try oh, again. Our friend. Yeah. Um. 
Okay, so roll to defend against fists. So endurance or fists. Yeah, I'm going to use endurance since I took it as a defense thing. That is a five. All right. And his glow, his blow glances off of you. Do I take anything? Nope. Okay. Um, and... Royus. Well, okay. Uh, roll to defend against a uh, weapon. As one of them pulls out, like, essentially a billy club. To defend against weapon. So that would be either fist or weapon. Or, yeah. Or you could do endurance for this, because uh, it is a, well, a, like, billy club, essentially. So it is a non-lethal weapon. I don't have any of those, so... I'll basically the same. Ouch. That's a negative two. All right. You will take a five stress hit. Damn. Yeah. So, you will either be taken out, or you can take a consequence to lower the uh, strength of the hit. Yeah. He said it's a five stress? Yeah. Um. I guess... Minor consequences go at the end of the scene, moderate at the end of the act? Say again. What's the difference between minor and moderate? It's just a stronger version of it. So, um, taking a minor consequence uh, would be like a, a bruised rib versus moderate would be like broken rib and severe could be like broken leg. So but... I mean, like they, they like t uh, they they basically you are dodging in a way that like deals more like consequence to you, but it it softens the blow slightly. So you are voluntarily taking a penalty that doesn't inherently do anything to you, but it's there until it either goes away or um, you're able to like get it fixed, essentially. Okay. It's basically just another form of health. Yeah. So like you could take a minor and it would just be a three stress. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do a minor. And feel free to, well, let's see. I guess he attacks, so I'll, I'll go ahead and name it something. Um... Say bruised rib. I like that. He he gets you real good in the rib. Not the rib. And ah yes, there's one last person. Uh <laughs> All right. Uh, the bartender moves from behind the bar to the bar stools. Oh, the bartender! <laughs> oh, this is his place. <laughs> I right, just forgot the bartender was here. <laughs> he pulls out his own stout billy club and swings it at you. Uh, <laughs> the, can I block that with either fists or endurance? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Give me a good one. Uh, that's a three. All right. You will take a two stress hit. On health? Looks like it. Yeah. So it goes up to a three. Looks like everybody got invited to go out clubbing tonight. All right. After Higgins is... Before you want to ask, not Henry Higgins. I'm just surprised the bartender had a name. Oh yeah, he has a whole story. <laughs> <laughs> <He> has relatives. 
He contains he contains multitudes. Yeah, they, there's actually a lot of information on him, and not the nameless business people you were trying to ask about earlier. <laughs> we focus on the hey, weirdest. Tell me shit. about the bill that you're trying to pass and the economic <laughs> things that could happen. My favorite part was everyone being like, "Oh, that's a good question." I'm like, "No, it's not." <laughs> what are you I talking about? It was a Maybe good he's question trying for to the like... purposes of saying, "I know law stuff." I don't know law stuff. I can sound like I know law stuff. He could have been trying to pass like the Great Mind Control Act or something like that, and then it would have answered everything. That <laughs> that's question, the name of it. That uh, question effectively asked nothing, but demanded Wombat. an answer. Wombat, roll me a uh, defense against fists. Oh, who's attacking me now? The guy still. But he already went. Yeah, and now it's the next turn. And since Higgins went last, he gets to decide who went first, which was Higgins, which then <sighs> shows the person next to him. That was a three. Three. You defend. <laughs> he rolled uh, like one. Or he rolled okay. a two. Um. Oh yeah, M2. M2 got taken out, not M3. Uh, all right. Um, Broyus. One of them swings at you again. Lovely. So, um, all right, I will, before I roll, he reels to attack you. I will allow you, if you would like, to, let's see. Trying to figure out basically to either push or tune this gentleman to to do what you want or to do what you say. Okay. I, I would say this would be pushing. Um oh no, we'll say tuning. I think tuning, because that's you're specifically making an NPC else to do behave. something. Yeah. Okay. So you would you would take composure damage, which is mental, so it, it is a different track than your health, um, which is very helpful and important but um you could basically like point at another person and just like hit him okay yeah i'm gonna do that is that one point you said yes um and so roll me empathy then to to essentially connect with him and uh make him not want to fight you All right, that's actually perfect with what you want. So you'll take just a uh, two stress hit for consequence. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Um, and he turns suddenly and it hits the guy next to him. Oh yeah, that's definitely hitting the guy next to him. Uh, pretty much, it's like slaps the guy or smacks the guy over the head with the club, and the guy drops to the ground unconscious. Is that the bartender and the other guy at the bar? No, oh. uh, this is the um the two the three people next to Broius. Um. Oh right, she's I in a different out, area. Yeah, I forgot one of them was also slightly damaged. Uh, so when it rolls over, it does line. Uh, he doesn't just hit the guy over the head. He knocks the guy back into the other guy, and they they both fall over. The two of the three people in my section are down. Yeah. Nice. Um, and now for the ones next to Tom. Uh, all right, Tom, roll to defend against weapon. Alrighty. From one of the, the big boys with the club. Rolling for the club. That's zero. All right. 
he let's see do you not have it oh no you can roll weapons to defend oh against okay weapons. then you're basically uh, blocking it with the the revolver then i rolled a four okay you'll take a one stress hit there we go um and everyone roll me investigation no alertness three. 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 I got a three. what do you get rose three 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 zero Boys. i don't even have alertness yeah. yeah i don't have alertness either two okay uh everyone but tom uh notices through the ruckus somehow uh that the the guy that was near tom sort of like the little group leader uh leaving through a back door so is that cobb we well, don't know. good question you'd have to ask i thought the guy punching me was cobb that definitely is something you assumed. Uh, Wombat, it's your turn. Uh, I got two people in front of me. I got the, the bartender and the other dude. Um, I don't know what I want to do. You know what? We're just we're just gonna we're just gonna kick the bartender in the nuts. All right, so you're gonna be trying to create an advantage. Sure. All right, so roll fist to create an adventure or an advantage. <laughs> roll an to adventure. create an adventure. A three versus friend. All right, so Higgins is a bit nauseous. Uh, very nauseous, in fact. Um, that'll be two free invocations allowed for that, as he looks real bad. <laughs> like, real bad. Okay. Uh, who do you want to go next? Uh, let's see. We'll send it off to Ellis. All right, so you said I saw that one person leaving through the back? Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna have some fun with this. This is gonna suck. Um, I'm gonna turn around to a door behind, like in the middle of the bartender's area. Okay. That wasn't there before. Excellent. So you're going to shape. I'm going to choose my own path, directly in the path of him. Okay. So take a minor consequence. I. Okay, so you can get a minor consequence to make a door where behind it is a, like, tunnel to where he's going. Or you can give me a moderate consequence to be in front of him. I'll take the moderate, honestly. Okay. That sounds cool. Uh, uh, does that take up my entire action? or? Yes. Okay. Just kind of want to open. Like show up right in front of him, just glaring daggers at him. I really like <laughs> that. That's the first thing you did with this. Um. All right. Who goes next? Um. I'll toss it off to Lillian so she can get the fuck out of there. So there's just one left in my area, right? Yeah, one very confused guy who just beat the shit out of his friends. Um... So, do stunts cost fate points? No. No. Not necessarily. Okay. Some of them could, but yours does not. Okay. So since he just 
beat up his friends and is probably not looking at me because he turned to yep. punch them. Would that put me in his blind spot? Absolutely. Okay. Um, then I'm just going to attack him from his blind spot, which makes it a stealth roll, right? Yeah. That's a five. Yes, it is. And what is he? All right. He manages to... Not block, per se, but uh, he, he's able to sort of, like, recover a bit just in time to still take your hit, but not nearly as bad as you thought it would have. Um, however, I will allow you, if you would like, to spend a fate point. Well, no, never mind. Ignore that. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. So he has a good hit on him. All right, who's next? Um... Raphael. Alrighty. Um, as I did not see the guy leaving, I... Unless anyone, like, yells it to me, I am going to try to take down the last two guys I got. Rolling a weapon, and I rolled a zero. Whew. Damn. I'd like to um, spend a fate point to re-roll that. Okay. Because I'm a dangerous being. Yes, you are. <laughs> Oof, that's significantly better. Yeah, that's a six. Damn! All right. You Some people shape using their, uh, you know, inborn traits. I shape using uh, my fists on people. Or a pistol in this case. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah. You shaped their skin to have an indent of your fist. Yeah. Uh, or at least you'd, you'd like to have. Um, it certainly hit him, but he didn't really dodge. This is sort of, you punched him in the face and he just kind of like reeled for a second and then looked at you. And, you know, he's bleeding. It hurt, but he's still up. He seems tougher than a lot of the other people you've seen get knocked out. All three of them do. This is a good bar. Somebody just like fate shift these guys to be tougher than they were a second ago. <laughs> no, this is a, how tough they were. You just didn't know. Oh, okay. That's what it is. All right. End of turn. Who would you like to go next, including yourself? Uh, if I can do myself, um, is has everybody else gone? Yeah, you were the last then, person. Then I gotta go again and try to to knock these guys down again. Oh, that's right. Uh, that is another six. This time, he just catches your fist. What the fuck? <laughs> Glad I'm not there anymore. Who's uh, going next? I mean, that just leaves... Okay, I, I want to know what uh, Mr., you know... Action man is gonna do in front of me, so I'm gonna say him. Oh no! Is there oh, anybody? The the guys that are hitting you? Yeah. I mean, you don't no. want the NPCs to go before the rest of us. I I like it. This is good. Well, no, I th I thought that I thought that went that I thought we didn't have any other anybody else. No, no, it go. was the start of a new turn, which is why you went oh. twice. Is you started a new turn by declaring okay. you're going first. I mean, it's fine. Also, if you just let them go. Yeah, because no, like then. then then otherwise I would have picked Wombat. Okay, Wombat then. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, you know, Higgins, he's looking kind of nauseous. So, I'm gonna... Ooh, how do I want to go about it? I'm going to, uh, JoJo-style Aura Aura his stomach. 
<laughs> okay, so you're gonna try to break his appendix. Yeah, just beat the shit out of his stomach. Uh, I mean, can I? I'm gonna re-roll that. Yeah, so you can spend the nauseous to re-roll. Three. I mean, you could invoke one of your other aspects if you wanted, like consummate. Yeah, I'll, I'll invoke consummate brawler to get a five. Okay. Um, you knock him the fuck out. <laughs> so Higgins is out. Yeah. Who's next? It, it, it didn't affect the other guy, though? No. Okay. Uh, in that case, we're going to send it off to Ellis again, because I'm kind of interested what type of, what's going to happen over there. Uh, Ellis, look at the dude's like, so you thought you could sneak out unintended, huh? And just shoulder check him into a nearby wall. Okay, roll, mate. That is not good. Oof. I'm trying to think if there's any of my aspects that work here. He's not very faithful, is he? No. Doesn't seem like it. He doesn't deserve oh. to survive, then. Only the faithful survive, indeed. Faithful to what, though? Who knows? The truth. That's the right. Uh, a three. To All right. Knock him against the wall. He does not budge. Good to know. Why are there just like four dudes in here that are brick walls? Um, they eat so... their Wheaties. I mean, you walked into a, the seediest bar in town where someone hired an assassin. Did we yeah. walk into the Continental from John Wick? Possible. But regardless, apparently that did nothing and probably just embarrassed me despite the one liner. So, Lillian, go for it. Okay. Um. So it didn't really hurt my guy. He's he's fine. You you got like a bit of a hit on him, but um, he's still up. Um, how many people are left in Raphael's section? Uh, three. <laughs> ah, and in Ashy's. One. Uh, one. And he ain't doing too well, so don't worry about him. Um. Guess I'll. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just attack him again then. I was going to see if I could maybe just move again. Well, before you do, I have something for you. There you go. Huh. Okay. What is that? That sign you see your character doing? To be fair, my most recent memory is not what I expected this direction to go in. No. But, meh. I guess. Okay, this is interesting. I just want about one, want one of his his uh, memories. Is that what's happening? I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm. I just like making snide comments. Am I able to pull the knife and use it in the same turn? Yes. 
I'm gonna pull my hidden knife and attack him with that. Shit, Lillian said shit got real. Alright, so roll me a weapons check. That's a four. Uh, Alright, you stab the man and he falls to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, he's out. Dom, oh, so, that was so good. <laughs> you just like, I'm you stabbed, stabbed the man. <laughs> you have extricated his kidney. Um, Who from our group hasn't gone yet? No one. No one. We, we've all gone. Okay. Um, so, so it's their turn, I guess. Yeah. Time to hand it off to the boys. Doesn't But super... I get to choose who, right? You can, yeah. I'm gonna make the barkeep go next. The barkeep's out. Yeah, no, he's unconscious. Oh, he's completely out. Okay. Yeah. It, it's oh, okay. one random guy near Wombat who's not looking great. Um a, the, the Trace the, Beefy Boys. Three guys next to uh yeah, the Beefy Boys is next to Tom. Um and, and that's the it. one guy who ran out the door next to Rose. Okay, let's let Wombat Swimpy Guy go. All right. Does he still want to fight me after seeing Higgins go down like that? Wombat, roll me uh, to defend against Fist. Okay, I'll roll some endurance. <laughs> that is a seven. Uh, he throws a fist, uh, hits your chest, and just kind of, like, you know, looks like he's almost, like, broken a finger. And it's just like, <laughs> I'm going to go sit in the corner if that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, walks away. He's gone a long way from telling me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, he's out of the fight. He's, he's, <laughs> he's done. Um... Okay, um, after him is going to be some big, beefy ones near Tom. The beefy boys, yes. <laughs> well, that rolled badly. Um, roll defense against weapons, so... Defense against weapons, yeah, all so, right. So weapon, fist, or endurance. That's a six. Okay, uh, he completely fucking misses you. <laughs> like, real bad. Okay, that's good. Yeah, because they can hurt. Rose. Yeah? Uh, Romy Athletics. Uh, that is a negative two. Woo! Oh, excellent. Oh, no. oh, that's exactly what I want. Okay, so you take an eight stress hit as he pulls a gun on you. <laughs> so I'm taking a severe way. consequence to survive this. You wanted this, Dolph? No, okay, so there's also the option of a concession, technically, where you just choose to get knocked out and... Uh... Fuck that. Okay. Don't forget, this is uh, for the rest of the campaign. Wait, really? I yeah, the I severe ones are... Down. No, moderate leaves at the end of each act. Severe leaves at the end of each campaign. You got shot. <laughs> that doesn't go away at the end of a scene. <laughs> Because this is also our major lead, and I don't know exactly where that's going to go. Well, as long as your allies saw them, and, you know, if they hear a gunshot, they might come oh. running. I'd hope yeah, so. Yeah, I think I will just take auto concession for the fight. Okay. So, so... And just go down like a fucking chump. 
Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I like that you appear out of a doorway. You're like, you thought you could run away from me, and then you try to push him against a wall, do nothing, and he pulls out a gun and shoots you, and you just fall to the ground. <laughs> he doesn't even question the reality bending yeah. crap that just happened. Well, it was just, dark. You couldn't tell where you came from. Just gun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> he just no selled it. Um, okay, so. Everyone else, I'm just going to say you heard a gunshot <laughs> from that hallway. <laughs> Don't need to roll alertness on that one. Um, all right. The guys next to Tom mm -hmm. stand up a bit when they hear the gunshot. They're like, hey, looks like the boss already took care of one of you. Why don't you just scram? Uh... And uh, they throw Beg your it pardon? to you, Tom. They don't they throw attack. it to. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm sorry. They'll roll an intimidation check. I was so... going to say, who's your boss? I got to roll like resolve or something. Uh, yeah, it would be resolve or um, empathy. I was going to say. That's a one on my resolve roll. On your your risp of yeah, that thing. Late. There we go. No. Okay, resolve. You got a one, you said. Yeah. Okay, so they do a six stress hit to your composure. But you oh, can take okay. just a minor consequence and turn it to four if you need to. Yeah, I'm going to have to. But on the bright side, they seem to be giving you the space to le to like move it wherever if you want to. They're, they're confident that they don't have to care about you anymore. I, I, I ask, is the boss uh, Cobb? Like, <laughs> sure is. Okay, that answers that question. Um, and there's three beefy boys right there. There are, and... but they don't seem like they're threatened by you anymore. I mean, like, literally, like, put a weapon over their shoulder kind of thing. Like, just the, the very casual, like, we don't care. A yell out, uh, you all, all, you okay back there? Uh, do you want to move at all or just talk? I, I am, I'm trying to talk because I don't want to abandon somebody who's been, uh, whammied, but, uh, I also know, uh, I'm not going to be able to beat a three on one. <laughs> yeah. Not these three, at least. I was going to say a three on one of like, you know, golems of Prague ready to defend an entire city. Uh, um, does anyone is there respond? anyone? Can anyone respond? I sure as hell can't. Uh, you're just asking if we're okay? Yeah, yeah I said, is, is we okay back there? Yeah, I mean, I'm doing good. They, things are peachy over here. There's there's no one except for these three. So you all are also able to fairly clearly fairly clearly hear that they basically just said Cobb shot someone. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, I and am also going... that they don't seem interested anymore. Uh, say so you any chance you'll let me go get my friend? Like, yeah, have at it. Okay, I'm gonna go find whoever Cobb shot. So do you guys run past, or run through the door? Yeah, like I'm gonna door? try to close the back, yeah. this into the back door, try to find whoever got shot. Can I take Higgins with me as I leave? No. <laughs> no. I All can't right, make Higgins your pet. <laughs> Alright, so you run down a back hallway essentially like tunnel underneath 
bollards. Um, a little longer than you expect it to be for like a storeroom. Um, it's honestly a little weird for it to be here. Um, but you catch up to uh, well, what you think is a dead body at first, until you realize that uh, Ellis is still breathing. Oh, that's good. Thank God. But Can I can... resuscitate Ellis anyway? I, I, Ellis is essentially, I will say, uh, able to walk now, like fine, but essentially just was out of it until now. Okay. Sorry, Rose, I'm not going to give you can, a memory you... just because your life flashed before your eyes. <laughs> I was going to say, Ellis, is a, can you? how many fingers am I holding up? You've been shot. Yeah, no shit, I've been shot. <laughs> Fuck, that like, hurt. Um... Can you oh, yeah. walk? Can it I get you out of here? All your health boxes, though. Even though you can see, just so that you can't just yeah. jump back into combat. But yeah, she'll be able to walk fine. Yeah, definitely a little bit of help think, getting up, but yeah, I'm gonna. I'll I'll support out. I'll support Alice getting out, up and out. Elgron, did they let us go? Like, did anyone follow yeah. us or anything? Um, okay. So you guys help her up and follow? Yeah. All right. You continue down this long hallway and come out or like find a door that is partly open with uh, just bad sounds coming out of it. Low quality audio files. Bad sounds. More like like things in cages. Oh, like, I like dogs. things in cages. Uh, so do you open the door and walk in? Yes. All right. You see a man that you now know as Cobb, um, sort of in a room filled with cages. Uh, inside these cages are, well, you've seen one of them before. Um, after it bit out Jack, Sm Jack Spade's throat. And then I bit its throat out. There are yeah. three other things that you haven't seen before, though. Oh, non-wimps? One of them uh, is... They all look somewhat human still. At least, like... It's like if you badly described a human to someone. It's close enough that people might immediately think of it as such, but one of them is... They describe it as corpulent. It is big. Beyond obese, essentially. It's um, like the boomer from Left 4 Dead? In a way, yeah. And... Uh, just generally like horrifying. It it, it is uh kind of like greasy and um like drooling. Raphael. Wrong door. Close. What if we poked a hole in one of these? Oh, you don't have time to talk yet. <laughs> the other two, um, actually very human looking. Um, maybe eyes a little too large, but. Beyond that, it's not too strange, but it is weird seeing these two humans in a, you know, cage of some sort. Um, however, Cobb runs to not the door, um, or not the door on the other side. There's essentially like two or three doors in this area. Um, on the left side of the room is where the cages are. There's a door on the right. He runs over to the left and grabs a handle and yanks it down. And all four cages open. Close door, close door, close door. Yeah, I'm- You're I'm, in the I'm... room already. But he, he yells at them to uh, get you. And begins running to a door whereupon one of them the one you had seen previously or the type you had jumps on him and begins to shred his back with its claws so they don't listen to him 
uh, the larger one uh, unhinges its jaw and begins to try to swallow him. So, um, I guess this is where babies come from. And I close the door. Things you know, go wrong. I called these things wimps, but uh, this is a few of them. Yeah, I'm few. closing the door. I'm going to walk Side away. Side note, no. The door closes as he pulls the uh, lever. We're kind of trapped in here. No. There's a oh. doorway to your right. The creatures are on your left. And let's go for the door. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you book it to the door and start running. But Cobb's over there. Cobb's dead. Cobb's dead. Cobb, <laughs> Cobb, Cobb is being digested right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, real bad, in fact. All and right. I think that's where we leave it today. Uh, are mean? they following us out the door? Are we being chased out the door? You definitely think so. Okay. From the sounds of it, at least the other two are following the big eye ones yeah wow so we're leaving it on a cliffhanger yeah uh if it makes you guys feel better technically you were supposed to get into a fight no matter what it was just you know usually you're supposed to get some information first i told are you, you i was trapped shot <laughs> uh not necessarily so those are the twisted ones, or maybe the twisted ones are the friends we made along the way. I mean, Wombat's case Wombat. it could well be. Here in the oh, I got my, I got my last one. That does remind you some of something. The demolished ones, not the twisted ones. All right. Well, thanks everyone for coming. This was a fun night. Lots of cool yeah. stuff got happened. We met some friends. Um, we we learned, you know, learned some more about politics and bills and laws. Uh, we figured out the real friends are the uh, gunshot wounds we made along the way. Yeah, join us next time when uh, the whole group has to uh, not die. <laughs> See you guys. Have fun. Uh